Right, hello! Um, gosh! Um, so basically, I went on holiday for a week. Hey, That's rather nice. We went to Florence. The, uh, birth of the Renaissance, and it was, it was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so yeah. But happy to be back now, to ask you. Oh, I'm not really, I wish I was still there, but still. Um, but... This was released while we were away. <laughs> um, so it's all the um, Hogwarts Legacy common rooms. Now I have a funny feeling they're all going to be beautiful. Uh, that I'm going to be like, I don't know which one to live in or to pick. And basically I won't know which one to do. Um, I am a Gryffindor. Um, which means I probably will go for the Gryffindor one. But to be honest, I did come out 50-50 when, when I did the sorting. Because I did the sorting with all the questions. Um, you can still do that. I think if you type in on Google, uh, put them all, quiz, sorting hat, all questions. Um, and it will put you, give you all the ones that you could possibly get. Um, so just a, a, the variety that you get through just... Um, what you call it, through the path that they lead you. Because if you answer a certain question, they, they give you a, 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 a... and the next question is kind of like... put towards you as... to put you down a certain path, so therefore you become out... that... line. Um, within the sorting. Uh, so when I did it the first time round, I came out as a Hufflepuff. Uh, when I did it the second time round, because my uh, account cash crashed, I uh, came out as a as a Gryffindor, and then I had to do it again when my uh, when the account all got changed because Potter all got changed, and I came out as, as a Slytherin, and I was like okay, and then I came I had to do it again because my account again crashed, and I came out as a as a Gryffindor, so I was like let's just solve this and. Do the, do the quiz with all the questions, let's just sort this out. And it came out literally as 50% uh, in Gryffindor, and there were 50 um, done in Slytherin, and like 10% was a Hufflepuff, and none of it at all was Ravenclaw. None of it at all. Um, if you want to be mathematically correct there, yes, I know I have gone over 100%, uh, it would have been 40 and 4, no, it wouldn't tell a lie, I can't do maths. <laughs> it would have been 10, take away 100, that would give me 90, so it would have been 45% and 45% on the other side. And that would have gave us 5 of 5 gives me a 0, 4 of 4 gives me 8, add the 1, gives me 90, add the 10, gives you 100. So there you go. So it was was 45% on the Slytherin and 45% on the Gryffindor and 10% on the Hufflepuff. And absolutely none on the, on the Ravenclaw. I ain't smart enough. No. <laughs> no, serious, dear. So yeah. So I have a funny feeling they're all going to be beautiful. I'm going to be there going, I don't know which one to be. I don't know whether to train more on my sliver inside or to go more on my Gryffindor side. Or whether to just go, I know it's 10%, it's, I know it's the lowest. But I'll be a Hufflepuff, because who the heck has? <laughs> so I'm gonna, I, I will be a bit like stuck, I feel. Um, so yes. I'll leave gaps in the middle of uh, spaces so I can I can trim, uh, hopefully. Uh, so this will be one video and then I'll stop recording and then I'll come back and do another video and then stick it on. I think that might be the best way of doing it when editing. Uh, but to you it will seem like one seamless video. <laughs> but to me it will be four separate ones. <laughs> um, so yeah. So let's watch the uh, first common room. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for this.
Oh my god, it looks stunning! It's got little cats! Oh god! Alright, I think there's some mimbless mimitobias. But it looks absolutely stunning! Look at all the plant life! That we've got here in the, in the Hufflepuff. Oh, look, look, the little lamb thingies are made out of cauldrons. That's cool. Now, you see, this is why I believe that green fires are magical fires. Because look, that's a normal fire. It's a normal colour. I believe green fires are magical fires. Look at it. Oh, no, that is a cactus. That is a cactus, that one. But look at these little cacti, little plant life. Oh, look, that's a notice board. Ooh, notice board. Hmm. Oh, there's a nice little book area. Oh, this looks stunning. Why can't I live in this world? <laughs> I'm gonna pre-order it. <laughs> Cheap as I can find pre-ordering the game, and I just mean just the game because I'm not gonna get any additions because. No one I look, they hopefully we'll be able to buy them as um, DLC, fingers crossed. Um, cheapest place I could find it? H&B. <laughs> H&B was the cheapest place I could find it. I'm going to get it on the PS4 as well, because uh, I do not have a PS5, because I'm a poor person. <laughs> so. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Oh, that's another view. Oh, Ooh, watering can. Watering can over that just just yeah oh my god what's down that bit what is down that bit oh and like portraits love it love it apples in the room cauldrons just like floating here it looks so pretty. It's all wooden. I mean, it's reminding me a lot of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> like, if you were to tell me this isn't Harry Potter, if you were to tell me this is Lord of the Rings, I would be like, yeah, I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> it's very nice. I like it. By the way, the music that we're hearing, I feel it like maybe the music in the background that you have when you're walking around or you're playing or whatever. Um, it doesn't sound anything like the previous Harry Potter games, and to be honest, it, it sounds a lot like the film in some parts so far, but yeah. Oh, it's so pretty! Stop looking so pretty! Oh, so pretty. Okay, okay, so this one must be showing you how we get to the common room. So this is definitely down in the kitchen, so which is great, fantastic. It opens up in a in a in a in a, in a barrel in a in a keg in a in a in a beer barrel. That is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. Sorry, it's just so cool. And then of course we have the fat fryer here. <laughs> Beautiful. Gorgeous. Can I just say, I like how they're showing us this with this new character that they've made. The, the deluxe edition. Um, which just shows us, again, both. That you, you can have male and female and so on. So that's nice. Sex characters. So that's lovely. Green flower, green flower, green fire. See what I mean? I think that's magical fire. Has to be. And what's this? A chest. You think if we open it up, we might find a wizard card. <laughs> or a cauldron cake. Or a pumpkin pasty. <laughs> Maybe even a page of the Folia Brutai. <laughs> Who knows? No, I'm being serious. I, I think it would probably be just be there for sure. Um, but that would be nice. <laughs> A cauldron pasty. <laughs> Sorry. 
That would be nice. I do like how there's apples on the table. That's cool. Oh, it looks so pretty! Stop looking so pretty. That's just a slow down blurry picture of all the shots. So pretty! So pretty. So very, very, very pretty. Right. Next video. Next one. Like I said, this is going to take some editing for me. Hopefully it will seem like one seamless video. But this is my next <laughs> bit. So, yeah. And I believe... I believe it's the Ravenclaw one. Yes, it is. Okay. I don't know whether it's me just being in Florence recently, but it just looks like I've literally just jumped into the Renaissance. <laughs> it's very, it's very Greek looking. It's almost French with the blue. I think it's the blue that's putting me off and making me think it's. French of the blue, but it's very Greek and, and renaissance -y looking, to be honest. And it looks beautiful. I mean, look at the harp we've got there. We've got flowers, purple flowers. We've got the statue of Rena, I can't say her name. Rena Ravenclaw. We've got, um, cast. We've got some nice vases. So it looks so pretty. Again, green fire. And there seems to be a lady who's all above it. So that's the second lady we've had above it. I think, I do think it's a magical fire. And I do, because look at this one. This is orange. This one's orange. It's a magical fire. I believe it is. Oh, we have the knights. That's a nice little trick because, of course, Transfiguration. Um, she has you. Transfiguration isn't to do with Ravenclaw, and it isn't. It's normally charms, which is Ravenclaw. But to have the knights here, I also think Transfiguration was more of a Ravenclaw trait than it was a charms trait. Because transfiguration, it takes so much. We have to take so much mind power and so much wit to turn it into something that it needs to be and into something that it needs to be. So I think and this is just a her early heads up that might be a call to have the um, transfiguration teacher to be a Ravenclaw. Who knows? Might be completely wrong, but who knows? Um, I do say I do like these lampy things here. I like those lamps. They look, honestly, it looks pretty. It's, it's literally like you're walking into a Renaissance Frenchish library. It looks very pretty. No, nope, I've got it. It is. If you've seen the new Beauty and the Beast with with Emma Watson, this is what. <laughs> It looks like it is that, you know, it's the library that she has, that Belle has, that Beast gives to her. That is literally what it is. It looks so pretty. It almost looks that bit there. So I'm going to scroll back a little bit, a little bit. No. No. There. This bit here, I know it's wood. I know it's cherry wood. It looks like wood. It almost looks like copper. And this bit here, this is obviously, these are your astronomers and stuff. Which again, if it's astronomy, could the astronomer be the Ravenclaw teacher? Head of house. I mean, there's a lot of stars and so on, and 
stuff like that. That was really, really cool bit. And there's a telescope there. And another bowl of apples. A straight call just come into the into the room and just uh, left the bowl of apples. Sorry. <laughs> just quoting back to Apple Prince. Sorry. It looks so pretty. It looks like a library, but it looks so pretty. See what I mean? Right? About how I think it looks renaissance y. Right? Hang on. Hang on. Pause, 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 pause. Right, there is there somebody doing a bit of artwork. This honestly, this looks like a study room for like culture, renaissancey stuff. If you were to tell me this wasn't Ravenclaw, if that little badge wasn't there, right, I'll be going. Well, this is Assassin's Creed, isn't it? It's, it's Ezio. It's it's you know an added bit on the remaster. Alright. Or I'll be going, oh, it's a new Renaissance game. It looks, it looks Renaissance-y. It's not just me, is it? I haven't just been Florence and get brainwashed about culture. It just looks proper Renaissance. Like, like look, there's telescope, there's somebody painting, there's books. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's a nice little study area, like I must say. Ah, we're being shown. I think that looks like a that looks like a different character model, which is nice. It's shown us how each character model can be customized, male or female, which is great. That's fantastic. You know, I can't wait to make mine. I really can't. Uh, if you can have a different hair color, I will make it with purple hair, because I'm not allowed purple hair. But my character can have it. <laughs> It's because it's because I work as a teacher and and obviously it's inappropriate hair colour to have because obviously a child will go Miss why have you got purple hair? It shouldn't be. It sh nobody really should matter whether I have purple hair or, or whether I don't. It should be how I teach. But it's just where the world works. It's inappropriate to have different weird coloured hair. There you go. I've said my bit. I'll get off my soapbox. <laughs> Oh, I like that. How it looks at you and then pulls the thingy. But of course, that's not how it works. In in the books, we all know that, like, the the eagle says a riddle. But I guess in, with this being a very don't do your voice acting, just music showing off the common room, maybe it won't. Or maybe once you solve the riddle, it knows you by sight that you've already you already know the riddle, so that well, you've already solved it, so you don't need to um, solve it again. Maybe so that's the reason why we put that in so easily. But it looks so pretty with the stars and lots of eagles. I must say, I'm glad they've got that right. I know everybody says it's Ravenclaw, but it should have a raven. But they only changed it for the games and the and the books to have a raven because it's Ravenclaw. And they were like, well, I don't quite understand it. Why isn't it not a raven? Surely it should be a raven. And I'm like, no. You know, Gryffindor is Gryffindor, yet it has a lion as a term of a griffin. Slytherin is Slytherin, yes, it has a snake as a slur. Alright. And Hufflepuff sounds like nothing like a friggin' badger, yet it has a badger. You know? And like, like I can must say, Hufflepuff needs to have. It's now black and, and yellow, but in the games it needs to be yellow and purple. <laughs> you know? And, and in the films, Ravenclaw used to be silver and blue, but in the books, rightly so, it was copper and blue. So, I'm glad that they're getting back to facts. Just as a pause there, 
Hufflepuff was also black and purple, um, black and um, yellow in the books. They only changed it to the game to be um, yellow and purple because the state it stood out more <laughs> than the black did. And apparently the black was harder to make in pixels, <laughs> as far as I'm aware. I may be wrong on that factor, but <laughs> yeah, that's the reason why they turned it to purple. Oh, it looks so pretty. Look at that. All right, all right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But if you're telling me and you're not looking at that saying, that's French or that's Renaissance. If you're saying to me that's not French, that's not Renaissance, that is not where they got any of the inspiration from. I'm, I'm giving you a look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you a freaking look. Because it is. Just look at it. It is. <laughs> ah, just look at how pretty it is and the stars and everything. It looks so pretty. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hello. You can tell that's been planned on the PS4 or 5. One or the other. Because it comes up with a square. Sorry, I'm just scrolling back. There! Oh, it goes too quick to do it. But anyways, there! So it comes up to it and the square. So, and then of course this then works. Squares are interaction button. That's unusual. Normally it's X. Hmm, what does X get used for? If square's the interaction button. Hmm. Look how pretty that is. And then a slow down version of all this. Oh. I'm not going to be able to choose. At all. Am I? This is going to be difficult. Right. Next video. Next video. I believe this is um, Gryffindor. So let's see. Oh, it is. Oh, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I like how they haven't gone whole hog, I, I must say. I, I, they've got tapestries. I love it. But I, I, I like how they haven't got whole hog in the movie. You know? They they've made it similar, but they haven't made it... It's my fact with the just copy of Capitan. You know? And they've got some lovely old houses representation here. And some Quidditch colours as well. Loads of Quidditch stuff here. Look at all the trophies as well. Nice stained glass window that is. It's lovely, it's beautiful. Again, representation there of all the houses. Ah, so showing us how to get in with the Bat Lady. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Again, loving this custom, um, custom, I can't say, characterization. Loving it. I like how they've changed how the fat lady looks. Because normally we have Dawn French and we have the person who played in, in, in Plus the Stone. I like how she looks different. It looks so pretty! Look at that pack of cards! It just went, ooh, that looks so cool. Gorgeous. Again, Square came up to, to do, Square was that interaction button. And again, there's another chest here. What's this chest about? Is it going to be a pumpkin pasty? <laughs> I 
don't know what it's going to be. Why is this a Chester thing? That's twice we've seen that. Hmm. Notice Bard. Tridley Cannon's on it. Ilkley. Ilkley, yeah, Ilkley. Nice little things on the on the wall. Again, showing us again the wooden circus a little bit more in detail, and then the top of it, which looks it looks beautiful. Gorgeous. Nice little slow down. Lovely. Gorgeous. Right. Last video now. <laughs> ah! Last video. Slytherin's house. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I've got to stop straight away. We can tell we're in the depths of the castle. Look at that ceiling. It looks so pretty. Again, here we have a very important character, obviously, of Slytherin's house. Same here. And tapestries. This, these haven't been mentioned before because, of course, we haven't been in the Slytherin common room many times so far. We've only been there on one occasion, uh, which was when um, Harry and Ron went into the common room uh, with Polyjuice Potion, pretending to be Crab and Guile. Um, it, looks, it looks so pretty. <laughs> it looks so pretty. I like the black marble. It looks gorgeous. Across in the back, I believe that probably was Sal Sal Slytherin. Lots of snakes and skulls, a couple of trophies. Baya looks lovely. Ooh, nice little fishy, sea watery, coldish lake. It's very glum and dark. Yeah. What I do hope is that even if you do pick the one house, that you still get to explore all of the um, the common rooms uh, when you make friends with people from other houses. I would like that. Again, it looks great. That cat creation looks great. You know what? I cannot wait to make my own. Like whoop, that is that is cool. I love that. That is so cool. That is so awesome. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. It looks so nice. Wizard chess. Oh, I wonder if you can play it. Books flying. What is that? Oh. That bit there. What is that? Looks, looks like a Looks like a snake, but also could be a bit like a dragon. I don't know. Looks really, really weird. I gotta say, I like the music. It's like it sounds very much like um, the film. 
but yeah, this looks very, very pretty. Oh, I don't know which one to pick. I'm going to be stuck. I think I'm going to have to flip a coin. Oh, what am I going to do? Crike. Right then. So that was all the common rooms. Like I say, I don't know which one to pick. I'm stuck, but they all look gorgeous. Look absolutely stunning. Couldn't ask for a better common room to be honest with you. No matter which one I pick, you know, it, it looks great. So everything like you, you, when you read about Harry Potter books and you read about the common rooms, and you imagine them in your in your mind and you draw them and so, I mean for the Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw ones, I mean Hufflepuff, we never even entered the Hufflepuff common room in the books, so everybody didn't, had no idea what it looked like. Same, but, but, but with the Ravenclaw book, I think you're in there for five minutes at the very end of the, of, of, of the book series and, and Deathly Hallows. And of course, then Slytherin again, you're in there for five minutes when you're in Chamber of Secrets. Um, I think the one they had to get right was Gryffindors, because you're in that every day of the week um, when you read the Harry Potter books. And you know what? They've done a smashing job. It looks, it looks really pretty. Um, everyone, everyone's common rooms look really pretty. So I, I don't know what I'm going to end up picking. I have no idea. Um, so, and, and, the, and the robes, again, they're not normal robes. They're, they're quite housey robes. I'd almost say they're quite quidditchy robes. Um, but, again... We don't know whether Quidditch is in the game. And it might just be a deluxe set of robes that you get um, outfit rise uh, within the game. So, you never know. So, but yes, I'm going to pre-order that game. I'm going to do it. I'm going to commit, guys. <laughs> I'm going to pre-order it. <laughs> as soon as I get paid. <laughs> um... That's the plan. And then, yeah, yeah. I uh, should be streaming back on the Tuesday, as far as I'm aware. Uh, so I'll see you guys then. Uh, probably will be, there'll probably be two more streams of Goblet of Fire, the terrible abomination of the game. <laughs> and then um, we will probably do all of the Phoenix, which, such a short storyline of a game. Like, literally, I think uh, it's so short, that storyline of a game. But we'll get to that when, when we when we do it. But yes, I will be pre-ordering this game come next week. <laughs> when I get paid on Friday. <laughs> so, yeah. And I will, I will Twitch it, this game. Um, but I will be Twitching it alone. But I will not be doing it with me. <laughs> it would just be me and my reactions <laughs> and you guys so yeah yeah I cannot wait to play this game I really can't I mean not that long we really haven't we've been getting the date now stuff is coming out nearly every week or so I mean it, it looks pretty um, to be honest with you, it looks absolutely stunning of a game, and if it plays as good as, as, as the videos are showing us, I am there going to be there probably playing this game going, it looks so pretty, it looks so pretty, and, and mentioning it, it looks so pretty every five minutes. <laughs> um, so yeah, cannot wait. And like I say, we've not got long, I mean, we're in September now. We've got October, November, December, January, Feb five months, five of them until, so yeah, cannot wait, cannot wait guys, cannot wait at all, what now, <laughs> all right.
thank you very much guys i'll see you guys on tuesday hopefully fingers crossed if not um yeah get a notification on, on twitch um if you haven't found my twitch yet it's same as channel it's sugar plum it's sugar plum witch um on twitch and we're there and you can catch us live playing the terrible Harry Potter game which is Goblet of Fire. <laughs> so yeah. And if you don't see us there and you miss us by any chance, you it will be up on YouTube a couple of days later. So yeah. It's all good. See you guys later. Bye.